Road. If this is your first time here, my name is Bug, and my husband and I, we wheel a 2000 Jeep XJ called the Grey Goat. Today we are out at LV and we've got some awesome people along with us. We have a stretched LJ and we also have a Toyota Truggy. And they're going to do the harder lines and they're going to show us some really cool stuff. So it's already the end of the day. So let me show you how we get here. Let's get started. what it used to look like the last time we were here. Well, we did it with the SJ. Yeah, we did it. Yeah. It was smooth. All the logs were horizontal. So that's why we're going to send these guys through it. So this is a long obstacle and it took up a good portion of the day. So instead of making this a very long video, I'm just going to show the last two obstacles on this course. The first one that you'll see is one big hole followed by another big hole and then they have to straddle a deep ditch without falling in. So let's start with the LJ and then we'll finish with the Truggy and we'll see how each of them did. Okay now this, let's take a look at this. I think that's a line if she starts biting here. Let me see. There's a decent amount. Let's see if she can climb it. You're getting it. Oh, see if you can cut passenger. There you go. That's it. Shit. I can't run around over there. Let me see. Yeah, I think his back tire is not catching out there. Huh. Okay. That's it. Climb, baby. Climb. Oh, rear diff? Rear diff. Yep. But I don't want to come this way and drop in this hole right here. Or this one. That's a pretty bad undercut, huh? Maybe, huh? The only problem, I'm just worried about this right here. What about, honey, throwing a log or something right where that tire needs to come up? Where that back tire? Yeah, because if you come over here, that's a straight, like that log right there, babe. Let Josh back up and throw that. Here, give me your phone. Okay, here's the bug, CrossFit bug. Damn, girl, how heavy is that? Fucking heavy. Josh is coming to help you, hold Can on. Around? Yeah, you ain't gonna be able to go up that hill with that. Toss it up there. There you go. Look at the bug go. And then walk up on top of that, honey. Look at you. There you go, babe. Now don't miss, you miss. You gotta go in there. Yeah, so his tire climbs up here. Throw it down to Josh, kind of down there. That's a big boy. Uh, don't lose it. Well, that's a great shot right there, Bug. <laughs> that's it. Yay! That's for OF, only fans. Oh, man. Good job. Wipe yourself off, Buggy. Oh, your, look at your boobies are all super dirty. Oh, Now let's see if that log helped at all. That's it. Yours. At this angle, you can really see the depth of that you're hole. Re, you're gonna have to reposition. Cut hard. There you go. Little, little bit passing. Driver, I'm sorry, driver, driver. There you go. 
stay on top of that log, little driver. That's it. That is it. You're going to come down the back. So close. What side in front of me? Just a hole? Yeah, it's, it's, it's a hole. I mean, it's not horrible. You're thinking about bumping it? Just, yeah, once you get to the, like, the apex of that, try and hit the brakes if you can. Nice. Nice, Josh. And here's the ditch he needs to straddle. If he can ride... Okay. Keep going dry a little. Yep, that's it. Yep, left tires planted. Now they're both planted. It's gonna fall. We kept it. Oh, amazing. That's the real Billy Goat right there. Now let's watch Jimmy go through those same last two obstacles, but he does it a little bit different. Climate, just like you told Josh to climb this. Uh, 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 back up. What? Let's see what he's going to do. You don't got body. I don't, right. know, I don't got body now. Right. Look at you. Right. I'm here with Jimmy. He came along with Christy and Josh and their LJ. So Jimmy, tell me a little bit about this awesome Toyota Truggy, I guess you'd say, that I've seen kicking ass today. Tell me about it. Um, it's just a 89 pickup standard cab. 89, okay. Uh, solid axle swap with a trail gear four inch lift, I think. Okay. Uh, 5150 Bilstein's. Uh, dual case, dual gear drive, transfer cases. Um, so who did all the, the tubing? Who did all the? Uh, Anthony at Exofab. Okay. And Enum Claw did the tube work. Um, he did the bumpers. He did the back half, the cage. The doors are trail geared. Okay. Uh, I think the sliders are trail geared too. Okay. I don't remember. Sorry. How about these wheels? What about these? Uh, the wheels are just they're just summit. Steel wheels, D okay. window, um, weld on bead locks from Exofab okay. with uh, 37 
37 inch original MTRs. Wow. Yeah. Um, that's about it. And how about to winterize it to keep you warm during the winter? Nothing. No, it has um, what are called heated seats. Heated seats? Yep. So it has. It's pretty fancy. Yeah. It has a personalized for, oh, for wow. me and my wife. Um, That's yeah. really cool. That's really so. cool. Well, I appreciate you spending time with me to talk about your druggie. Yeah. So, what's the last thing you got to do, Jimmy? Uh, we're going to get a four-seater. Okay. So, that's why it's just how it sits now. And then, why are you getting the four seats? Uh, so we can take our kids. That's great. That is great. So, it can be a whole family activity. Yep. That's awesome. So, guys, I think, like, the star of today is this stretched LJ. Um, it is an absolute beauty. And Josh here has actually done a lot of the work himself. And so I've asked him to just tell us a little bit more about it. I did a five inch stretch in the rear and then a, I think it's about a four, four and a half inch stretch in the front. Long armed it. I bought brackets from Genrite. Who's the long arm kit from? <laughs> so the long arm kit itself, uh, lengthwise, is just made up from in my head. You did. <laughs> so that's awesome. I just bought brackets that were unwelded from uh, Genrite through Anthony's shop through Exofab. They gave me a pretty good deal on everything. And then I just did uh, Poison Spider, mm -hmm. uh, Highline Fenders, mm -hmm. um, pretty much everything that covers any kind of paint except for the hood. <laughs> yeah. So tell me about um, your axles and your transfer case and what gears are you running? So I'm running a 14 volt in the rear okay. from a uh, earlier model where it's a 63 inch wheel mount service, um, 513 gears with an ARB in the rear, um, 14 inch coilovers, and the front is a narrowed high pinion Kingpin 60 with five, 513s and a Eaton e-locker, um, backed up with a Atlas 4 speed with a 1031 to 1 low range. Um, transfer case, motor is 100% stock. Um, so you were pretty much married to this for a little while. Uh, was it like your mistress on the side for a little it while? Was. <laughs> it was. Kristen said that she felt like a single parent again. <laughs> yeah. uh, it did only take uh, every day after work for two months, about okay. two, two and a half months. So what is your favorite mod you would say on this week? Oh, the whole thing. Yep, I agree. Mine too. Uh, <laughs> I'd probably go with either the S-Pod or the rear seats for the kids. That's right. Yeah. You guys are strapped in tight, aren't you? You feel safe back there with Daddy driving? Yeah. And I see you got goggles on sometimes. Okay, so tell me about this S-Pod. So the S-Pod is an eight switch selective. Basically what it is, it's a phone jack on the back of your, on the back of the LCD screen. And it goes into a power distribution center can like control module inside the engine compartment. Okay. But you can program any one of these eight switches to whatever you want them to be. Very cool. So how much does this cost? You don't mind me asking. This is one of the newer models with the LCD. So I'm, and I believe these ones are around seven or 800 bucks. Wow. Thank you for sharing that. Well, thank you so much for speaking with me. I so enjoyed wheeling with you. You took care of me a couple times on the trail. I appreciate it. And let's go hit a couple trails. So thanks guys for watching. It was an awesome day out here at LV. And be sure and hit that subscribe button so you don't miss a single adventure. Go to off What do you got going on? You gonna do some touch up over your rust? Yeah, and uh, I'm gonna repaint it. We still got like, used some to be this kind of gray painted over it. So those are your plans next is to cover the rust and repaint? Yeah. All right, I'll stay tuned.